Oh, hey guys, nice to see you again. We're getting ready for another adventure in the Kruger Park. We're just packing up the car and we'll see you shortly. Skakuza and uh, we just saw our first female lion that we've ever seen so uh, that was quite a special sighting and uh, yeah we've seen three of the big five already we've seen buffalo elephant and uh, lions the f another first for us is that we went to uh, the central region of uh, the Kruger National Park but uh, we're gonna be sleeping two nights at Satara so that's a real special for us Oh, another line, guys. Oh, guys, we're going to have to interrupt this one. Hold on, something is happening here. lion sighting we turn around and there's an elephant in the road but uh, he's just going off into the bush so, but uh, really really magic I tell you what Kruger traffic jam of night so uh, yeah <laughs> I mean safari vehicle safari vehicle safari vehicle just like pulling up there obviously the bush telegraph is working for them so we've just been told that uh, on the S65 there's a uh, leopard in the trees so we're just heading off to that to see if we can find that and that will be number four of the big five and uh, let's see if we're going to see it it's not even half past seven yet Would this be the trip or would this be the day that we get to see the Big Five in one go? We have seen Rhino previously but not on the same day as other members of the Big Five. And so before breakfast, with four of the Big Five bagged, things are looking good. But before we could get to Skakuza, we came across this lonely white-backed vulture in a tree and while photographing and observing it, it flew off to join a few others in the sky. past eight, 12 minutes past eight, and uh, we haven't even made it to Skakuza yet. And we just witnessed a scrap between hyena and wild dog for a kill. I don't think it's, it was a fresh kill. Just, uh, we thought that we had seen it all already today. And then we went and saw that lot. So uh, it's uh, been a really special morning.
was another great sighting and we liked it. We are sure that you liked it too. So please hit that like button and while you're in that part of the real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button too. Both are for free and we all like free stuff. From Leopan we headed up the H12 towards Shakwani but turned right and headed off towards Open Dam. Along the S32 we came across these two black back jackals. This was another first for us. probably been in excess of 30 years since I last saw a proper baobab tree or well, any baobab tree should be so you can really understand why people call them the upside down tree I remember reading a theory about how these were distributed by the early traders and so if you follow the um, if you were to draw lines from baobab to baobab you would probably follow a trading route so I'm not sure how true that was, but uh, yeah, sounds like a good uh, legend. We arrived at Satoro and we put up our camp. It's hot, so we went for a swim. And as you may see, we're very red in the face. <laughs> but it has been a very good day so far. And we're going to head back to camp now and then go start a fire. Yes, very, very hungry. Very, very hot. Very, very tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> At this stage, we've already been on the go for 12 and a half hours. Good morning everyone, it's uh, day two, we slept at Satora last night, not a bad sleep, um, it's now five o'clock in the morning and we're heading out for a game drive, we're just busy doing the necessary coffees on the go, we should have that done shortly and then we will be heading towards the gate, but 
yeah, there's an awesome sunrise coming. The sky is extremely orange and there's Mars, the moon and Venus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing. Tracy's come back and she's tripping all over everything. Morning, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna make the coffee and then we'll see you guys on the road. Morning, everyone. We have gotten out the gates, following the road of cars, and we're headed to the S100. Yeah, looks like a good day. Yeah, yesterday uh, was quite a day in the park. We had a lot of good sightings, and I don't know that today's gonna match it. So uh, we mm -hmm. can always hold thumbs and hope. Was a bit overwhelming now ask yourself if you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed why can't you just be whelmed we're a little bit along the s100 and we came across ground hornbill this time now, if you remember from my very first uh, video i actually called them ground hornbills but they were just hornbills on the ground sorry that i knew they weren't ground hornbills it was just one of those very early mornings <laughs> anyway here we actually do have the ground hornbill Tracy, do you know why elephants are so uh, popular? Tell me. Because if it's not elephant, it's irrelevant. We've just had our breakfast at Bonetsi picnic spot. I think it was a great little area to have a, a quick breakfast on the go. Doesn't look like there's any scuttles to hire there, but I think if you you can phone ahead and they can arrange one for you. Otherwise, nice and clean. But the real added bonus is that there's a lookout point just up a little walk up, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, stunning, stunning views. The river runs down at the bottom and then you have the greenery, the hills and the outcrops. It's really beautiful. I would definitely recommend you take a, a stop here. You won't be disappointed. So Tracy, what kind of a tree is this? I don't know. 
It's a no entry. The S100 is renowned for sightings of big cats, but alas, we did not see any on our trip to Wanetsi and back along the H6 to Satara. The Satara region is characterized by savannas and offer great viewing opportunities, but the sparse cover means that animals take cover early during the heat of the day. Along the H6, the sightings were limited to a number of animals in the distance. We turned in at Sonop Waterhole. Many of the watering holes are being decommissioned or not maintained. Elephants are very destructive animals and unnatural water holes encourage them to stay in an area even during periods of drought when the vegetation struggles. The vegetation cannot recover and thus is destroyed. Reducing the number of water holes will encourage the elephants to seek areas with natural water and the destruction will be reduced. After a morning of slim pickings, we headed back to Sitara for lunch and a break from the African heat. But the Kruger threw another epic sighting at us, what we believe to be a female elephant with very long tusks. Due to the nature of the female elephants, it is usually just the males that are considered to be tuskers. But this female has some of the longest tusks that we have ever seen. Perhaps it is not a female and perhaps this is an emerging tusker, but we have not been able to identify it. If you can shed any light, please drop us a comment below as we would love to hear from you. And please don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. So far we have not seen the big five, but we are only halfway through our trip. Although we did not close the big five sighting in one day, we are still on track to see them within our three day trip. But nonetheless we have had such epic sightings such as the wild dogs and hyenas battling for food, our first lioness and a male and female lion together, a great leopard sighting where we could see the entire animal, and what we believe to be a female elephant with very long tusks. We have been privileged to see so much already and we are definitely going to take some great stories home. This is not the end, so join us in part 2 where we travel home and have some more awesome sightings. Join us then and give us your feedback as to which sightings you thought were the coolest.